Hi students, so for this video, we will talk about the informatics theory, okay? So in this portion of our lecture, we will talk about the different theories that are or that can be used in nursing informatics. So let's just uh, go back to the very definition of informatics because as I have discussed uh, in the previous videos, we have uh, defined informatics as a science that combines domain science. No, when we say domain science, this is the uh, science. No, kung saan mo apply yung informatics, and as well as the inclusion of computer science, information science, and even cognitive science. Now, when we talk of healthcare or nursing informatics, this may be defined as the integration of healthcare sciences the use of your computers and as well as your computer science and as well as your information science and cognitive science with the aim of assisting in the management of all nursing and healthcare information. Now, when we say healthcare informatics, this is uh, aimed to address no, the management of healthcare information because uh, it so that it, it, it encompasses specific content Areas such as information retrieval, no, yung ethics with the with the use of informatics, no, uh, even the security, decision support, patient care, and the likes. Now, nursing informatics was proposed as the use of information technology in relation to any nursing functions and actions of nurses. Now, nursing informatics has a very wide scope, but practically. It is the use of uh, information technology no? in developing tools, processes, strategies, and that assist RNs in managing data, again, to support decision-making. So decision-making involves client care, no? decision on research, decision on what to teach no? in, ter in terms of education, and uh, the administration of your uh, nursing personnel. So ginagamit yung nursing informatics or kailangan ng informatics as a specialty doon sa mga sa mga domain ng nursing practice na nabanggit natin kanina. Now, one of the prominent uh, prominent theory that pertains to nursing informatics is the one proposed by Graves and Corcoran, no? Where they said that ma, that uh, that nursing informatics is one way, no, to develop knowledge, okay? through management of data, management of information, so that we acquire new nursing knowledge in our profession. Shirian's model also talks about no, the transformation of your raw material with the use of technology to benefit your users towards achieving your goal. And when you achieve your goal, you try to improve the user experience with the technology and even the raw materials that they use. Now, uh, central to nursing informatics is the processing of data, information, and knowledge. We have to understand that these three concepts are different uh, pieces of information, okay, or different pieces or blocks of concepts. Because when we say data, it's different or distinct from information, and it's distinct from knowledge and are identified as current meta structures or overarching concepts for nursing informatics. Because when we talk of data, these are discrete entities that are described objectively without interpretation. For example, you got a temperature reading of 36.8. Now, this data is considered as a data because it's just uh, objectively describing a particular uh, measurement no, without even any effort of interpretation. Example of another example would be systolic blood pressure or the, the name or the type of nursing intervention that you have uh, performed, okay? Or even a patient problem or an outcome. Now, your data transforms into an information or becomes an information when it reflects interpretation or an implication of your data in terms of your organization, in terms of structuring of data, or the result of reprocessing your data. 
when you analyze your data, it becomes information. So for example, when you say 36.8 na temperature, you say it's a uh, it's in nor it's the normal, no, temperature, you give meaning, you give implication on that particular data, the data on temperature becomes an information. Now, data processing occurs when raw facts are transformed through the application of context to give those facts meaning or via the organization of data in a structure that connotes meaning. Okay? So when we say uh, when we say we performed, no, uh, we performed a certain nursing procedure and we say that it's effective, no? We give a connotation on of that uh, particular information uh, or of that particular data, no? Nagkakaroon ng meaning, nagkakaroon ng connotation. Hence, it becomes information. And when we talk of knowledge, this emerges from the transformation of information, no? When your knowledge has been repeatedly observed, or when your information is repeatedly observed and is repeatedly synthesized, repeatedly analyzed, and it forms a body of a uh, consistency, no? it becomes knowledge and emerges from the transformation of your information, okay? Now, uh, your data, information, and knowledge are interconnected uh, uh, pieces of concepts, no? Just like in this, uh, just like in this diagram, no? Kung walang data, wala tayong information. Kung walang information, wala rin knowledge. But if we do not develop our knowledge, information cannot be gained. Kasi you, you develop information based on what you have or based on what you know, okay? Or knowledge or what's your knowledge about it, okay? And even your data cannot be transformed without knowledge. So these three are, uh, these three are interrelated concepts, but they are different in... Uh, in terms of their definition, in terms of their, uh, in terms of their classification. Now we have to understand that when we apply more intelligence, no, human intelligence in our data, it becomes more and more complex, and it becomes more and more becoming knowledge. The more we analyze, the more we synthesize our data, the more that our knowledge uh, can emerge. And how does that affect nursing informatics? Okay, how would that affect nursing informatics? Very simple, because we're dealing with data, and we all know that when uh, when healthcare data is being processed, no, malaking bulto ng data ang kailangan mong iprocess. So, nursing informatics comes into play by understanding this concept. We can we can uh, we can capitalize on these technologies, no. To better extract information and better build our knowledge. Okay, another theory that we want to apply in nursing informatics is the theory of Patricia Benner, no, yung no novice to expert uh, theory. Now, the novice to expert theory is uh, is a very applicable, no, in our in in the practice of nursing informatics because it talks about the competency of nurses when it comes to use or it, it, when it comes in using technology okay now uh, here are some factors that we need to understand when uh, when we talk of competencies no of nursing informatics practitioners later on merong levels ng computer uh, informat nursing informatics competencies no merong computer skills merong informatics knowledge may informatics skills yun yung tatlong uh, pinagbabasihan kung paano magiging masasabing competent ang isang nurse no when it comes to nurse informatics okay in nursing informatics is also to uh, it's also good to understand no some terminologies at, uh, and i think in the previous lectures this has been mentioned no your nanda your your nursing intervention classification your uh, your nursing uh, nursing outcomes classification those are terminologies that we can use to standardize and communicate data across our nursing systems. Okay, ito po yun. 
your Nanda, your Nick, no, and the ICD-10. When we say ICD-10, this is uh, the interclass, international classification of diseases, which gives uh, uh, all diagnoses no, with consistent coding, with consistent uh, consistent classification, no, to properly document it inside a computer system. Now, sometimes terminologies cannot be resolved easily, no, because there are differing contexts, differing contents of information in the healthcare setting, no. Iba-iba ang understanding natin with the information. Plus, our interpre interpretation no, or the interpretation of healthcare providers will also be different no, when it comes to your, uh, to your nursing information technology systems. Iba-iba ang interpretation. So therefore, understanding how we interpret things is the prim primary goal of defining terminologies. Okay. Now, what are the what are the implications, no, in nursing when it comes to these theories, no? It facilitates our understanding or the the implementation of evidence based practice. Okay, matching potential research subjects to research protocols for which they are potentially eligible, and the detection and prevention of potential drug effects and the likes. Now. Let's go to some uh, practical applications of your uh, nursing informatics, no, into in the in the clinical setting. The first in uh, the first application, for example, is your clinical information system. Now, in the clinical information system, kung tinatawag natin is CIS yan, this assists the clinicians with the data and necessary for decision making and problem solving. No? Clinical disciplines and specialty services share the common user requirements as well as having specialized practice requirements. Now, if each discipline would not take into consideration, will not work collaboratively in developing the CIS, no, the care of the patient would be fragmented. Now, your CIS can be developed in this process. No? And I know uh, I leave this as a reading assignment for you to read on your book. No, the planning, system analysis, system design, development, testing, training, implementation, and evaluation. For the practice application of nursing informatics, it's important that we understand the framework of nursing informatics. Now, here is an example or this, the, the essential elements of nursing informatics. No? As you can see, the four concepts in the nursing meta paradigm, the patient, the nursing, health, environment, are all parts of a uh, are are parts of a new paradigm which involves the data meta structure, the scientific foundation of our practice, and the tools from information science. So, in nursing informatics, it's the integration of patient, nursing, health, and environment with regards or with the perspective of the patient's data meta structure, the scientific foundation of our profession, and the tools from our info, from information science. Now, for one to be considered as competent in informatics, they must they must develop their own their own set of competencies. No? And informatics competencies are needed by all nurses whether or not they specialize in nursing informatics. It's apparent because lahat tayo ay gumagamit ng computers. Now, uh, there are certain types of computer, uh, computer or informatics competencies. No? The, the first one or the first type is yung tinatawag na computer literacy skill. When we say computer literacy skill, these are the basic computer skills needed to use a word processor, no? accessing database, creating spreadsheet, no? creating PowerPoints, communicating with email and interacting with clinical documentation systems. So that's a computer literacy skill. Uh, that's, a, that's a must for all nurses. But the more advanced skill is yung tinatawag na information literacy skill, wherein you are able to recognize the need for information and the skill to access, evaluate, and interpret the information correctly. 
Like for example, determining the extent no, ng information na kailangan and accessing that information efficiently and effectively to evaluate the information efficiently and use that information into one's own knowledge base. It's like processing the information for you to improve your nursing system, your nursing computer system. The basic of them all is yung tinatawag na general informatics competency, which are your basic skills required for nurses but are not sufficient for you to become specialist. No? It's like identifying, collecting, and recording data relevant to the care of your patients and analyzing them and interpreting and your patient information. Now, uh, technology has been shown as a great tool, but studies have shown that it is underutilized in the nursing practice because uh, they, uh, they still have lack of training on the technology and that there's a boom or exploding technology or a lot of things that has been innovated no, throughout the century. Okay? So first, first of all, ginagamit ang computers in our practice in development of uh, in the in the nursing documentation systems, no? Very apparent ito sa United States and sometimes here in the Philippines. We also use computers for care planning. When we say care planning, uh, it's the systematic uh, systematic uh, planning, no? Nang care, ng, ng pag-aalaga sa ating mga pasyente. Okay? It, uh, because it impacts our nursing care, such as the contact time with our patients, no? accuracy of documentation, charting time, transcription, and medication errors, no? and communication collaboration. The ability to electronically record, integrate, and analyze the data and information enables us nurses to quickly move to the synthesis of nursing knowledge. Okay. Uh, nursing, uh, your informatics in terms of practice application is also useful when, uh, when handling administrative data and using administrative data in decision making. When, when we say administrative data, these are information pertinent to the management of healthcare organizations. No? Lahat ng transactions ng healthcare organizations, kapag pinasok mo ang technology dyan, uh, we can build a decision-making decision model no, for hospital administrators that can aid them in arriving to critical decisions. So one system that was developed uh, in Europe is yung tinatawag na Classica, kung saan they did develop a database of management of information of hospitals. No? So it's one way to benchmark also different data from other organizations. When we say benchmark, we look for best practices from other hospitals. And technology made that easier, no? to benchmark data from other organizations. Uh, technology is also used no? to manage the outcomes of your patients. No? Not just only manage, but to monitor the outcomes as well. So pag sinabing outcomes management, it uses uh, your computers to correlate nursing interventions and the outcomes of your patient's health, okay? Outcomes such as client satisfaction, decreased hospital admissions, and decreased ER visits, no? Outcomes of healthcare should be monitored, monitored so that nursing, our nursing profession and the healthcare industry can determine and implement the best practice in healthcare. Again, this falls on the domain of decision making. Healthcare informatics or nursing informatics is also useful no, in critical care. No? Because we all know that we need constant monitoring for patients in critical care, we have to utilize our technology in uh, creating an environment no, that will monitor our patients efficiently with use of technology. So. Uh, they, some developments have been uh, introduced in our healthcare industry no? or ginagamit na talaga in healthcare in industry wherein there is a centralized mechanism to process, store, and integrate physiologic and diagnostic information of, of your patient's data from various sources. 
It can also present deviations from preset ranges by sounding an alarm or alert. No, if you are, if you will uh, become fielded, no, if you will be fielded in the uh, critical care setup no? or the critical care units of our hospital, you will notice that there are alarms that are uh, that are connected from your patient's bedside to the nurse's stations, and there's a monitor that is connected from the nurse's station to the patient's bedside, no? So everything is connected using technology, okay? Some other hospitals also uh, use technology to accept and store patient care documentation in a lifetime clinical repository. So ibig sabihin, ini-store siya sa isang storage facility sa loob ng hospital para for, uh, they can use it for lifetime purpose, no? For purposes of... Uh, for the admission, for example, ng isang pasyente, and other important uh, important matters that it will be used to. Okay? And also, IT in, uh, information in critical care uh, should also be able to trend data in a graphical presentation. Now, one of the uh, one of the technologies used in critical care is yung tinatawag na physiologic monitoring systems, no? which oversee the vital signs of your patients. It's like a, it's a device, no? It's a device that has uh, sensors, no? signal conditioners, no? uh, capacity to file and rank order the information, uh, to compute the, com there's a computer processor, and evaluation or controlling component that will uh, tell whether a patient's uh, vital signs are, are not good, okay? So here's an example, no? Yung, etong, yung may tinatawag na, phys na physiologic monitoring device na cardioscope where in ina-attach yung mga leads sa patients to monitor the heart rate, the ECG, no? and as well as probes to monitor the breathing patterns, and also probes na nakadikit dito sa gilid, tapos naka-attach sa and, uh, uh, blood pressure monitoring uh, function. No? Sometimes uh, your... Uh, your Defibrillators also can also act as uh, physiologic monitoring uh, devices. No? If, uh, if, if you have a chance to, kapag nagkaroon kayo ng chance na ma-field ma sa, sa critical care unit, you will notice these functions. Okay? Meron din po tayong tinatawag na hemodynamic monitors, no? which allows you to, to monitor the hemodynamic indices no? sa loob ng isang sa katawan no ng pasyente uh, this is usually useful in uh, in cardiac units no among cardiac patients or patients who had undergone cardiac surgery meron silang mga hemodynamic monitors which monitors their uh, their their uh, cardiac indices okay sa loob ng katawan no so this measures hemodynamic parameters closely examine cardiovascular functions evaluate cardiac output and blood volume, and even estimate cellular oxygenation. Now, these hemodynamic monitors can be invasive or non-invasive, you know, using a swan guns catheter, ipapasok sa loob ng katawan ng pasyente, and then these ports are used to connect to the hemodynamic monitor. Okay? So, ayan, kung mapapansin, the catheter will go inside, you know, some will... Uh, some parts will touch the pulmonary artery, no? wherein they will try to measure the hemodynamic inde index on this part of the heart. Okay? Tapos pag in ray mo, makikita mo siya dito sa part na ito. Now, your critical care information system is a is an umbrella term, no? It's an umbrella term. It's not, it's... It involves yung mga diniscuss natin kanina na hemodynamic monitors, physiologic monitoring devices, no? Pero the critical care information system is a more uh, is a wider as a wider scope, no? It's a system that mo that connects every physiologic monitoring device, every hemodynamic monitor into a single system that can be operated by nurses. Because this is designed to collect store organize, retrieve, and manipulate all data related to care of the critically ill patient. Okay? So kung ang kung sa kung naaalala ninyo, 
the one that manages hospital information is the software na hospital information system. The one that manages all patient-related uh, condition or patient-related data in the critical care setup, dito po pumapasok yung critical care information system. Okay? Now, your CCIS is, syempre, it's, it's a way to monitor patients. So, that, so, dapat, meron siyang mga ganitong features. Number one, it should have a patient management system where all information about the patient, demographic profile, should be reflected in there. No? Kasama na rin na yung diagnostics, vital signs monitoring, clinical documentation, even a function for or a feature for decision support, medication management, provider entry, interdisciplinary plans of care. Here in the Philippines, what I have seen, no, especially in our hospital, it's just uh, nandito pa lang po tayo sa pangatlong feature no, on the diagnostic test result. Yes, we have vital signs monitoring. Yes, we have patient management, okay? And clinical documentation, we're going into it, okay? So in community health application, ginagamit po ang, ang technology in terms of clinical care pathways, statistical reporting, and even in school health systems. In the, in the, in, the, in our present, present, uh, present uh, plight with the, with the pandemic, no? Yung laban natin sa pandemic, lalo nang naging uh, ginagamit no ang ating technology no in terms of telemedicine okay or which involves the transfer of healthcare information through telecommunication devices no which replaces face to face visits with your doctors for emergency preparedness and response no this was in the context of uh, the 911 attacks no because of that uh, they learned that they have poor coordination, they have poor collaboration with all hospitals who responded to the 9-11 attacks. So during that time, uh, they realized that they have to have a good public health infrastructure UT using IT response, no? Okay? But here in the Philippines, we also have this, uh, uh, we also realized, no, the importance of technology in emergency preparedness, lalong lalo na ngayong pandemic. Dati, uh, uh, if you have noticed, no, in the news we have uh, different, we have different ways, no, for contact tracing, right? We use uh, papers, we log into the logbooks of uh, stores that we go in. But when we realized that we can use technology and integrate everything into one, we started to use our QR codes, no, which. Uh, streamlines our process of contact tracing, okay? And on the part of the patient, lesser contact and lesser exposure to virus or possible exposure to virus. That ends our lecture for this week. So if you have any questions, you can always send me a message. I hope that you will have a nice week.